Today's video is about what we're reading for July. Uh, we took pretty much almost all of June off of school and now we're just starting to do a couple things now. Uh, we are starting to do our read alouds again and we just started illustration today. A little bit of Good and the Beautiful thrown in there and some the math seeds online and just really random, very slow, very low key schoolwork. So we're not jumping in for a school year. We're just taking it nice and smooth. Um, but I did start our read alouds this week and the one we started was The Whipping Boy and most because I have it and I didn't have to go to the library and it's pretty short and they're enjoying it so I'm enjoying it. It's really funny. So uh, that's what we're reading and then we just started By the Shores of Silver Lake this morning. Yes. Yeah. This morning they illustrated the first chapter and narrated it for me. And we are, they were really excited about this one because it's been a while since we've read Lauren and Mary. So, and so sad. I was not expecting that. I never read these before. So this is the first time for me as well. So those are our two read alouds for July. And, you know, it'll take us like two months to get through this book. I mean, it takes us a while. Uh, well, I also got it on... Um, audio CD for in the van so maybe it won't take us super long but usually a book about this size will take us about two months and then also for hold on also for read alouds these are the read alouds I do during the day but I also read at night and our night our bedtime read alouds are the children of noisy village by Astrid Lindgren Lindgren she uh, wrote the Tippy Longstocking books, which I have yet to read, but maybe one day. And like I said, this is very short as well, and it's got short chapters, which we like at bedtime. Uh, I'm also slowly going through The Care and Keeping of You 1. We're about halfway through, so this is good. Uh, it's good for discussions and for learning about our bodies and all that. So we haven't gotten, well, we did... We did breast, but that was kind of like funny. They enjoyed, <laughs> they had fun with that one. But we haven't gotten to the nitty gritty stuff. And I guess they're going to get into that eventually. So that is fun and awkward, but it's what you got to do. I'm trying not to be awkward about it. I'm trying to be like super cool mom that you can come to. But anyway. Another one we do at bedtime is I read uh, a section out of Horse Crazy, and it's, I have Horse Crazy Girls, and so I read, it's, right now we're at the beginning, and it's just the history of horses, like the revolution and uh, through civil, uh, human civilizations, and how they've evolved, how we have evolved using them, I mean, like, uh, what we use them for, and the Native Americans didn't even have any uh, horses over here, so... This is fun to um, read with them. And then, it, I mean, it's not just the history, of course, but then it has, like, activities in it and games, I think, and about shows and how to take care of your horse. I mean, everything about horses. Projects you can do. Crafts. So, that's our bedtime read. And now I'm going to show you what Miat's reading She's my only reader so far. Kenzie is getting there. She is reading the Bob books and her All About Reading book. And we're still doing, we're doing a mixture of All About Reading Level 1 and Good and the Beautiful. We're kind of intermixing that, them together somehow. Maybe I'll do a video of how I mix them up. But I'm doing both of them at the same time. Good and Beautiful Kindergarten and All About Reading Level 1. And she's doing great. She's really picking it up. And, uh... But yeah, so she's not reading chapter books yet. She's just reading those, you know, little readers. So Mia is reading. Uh, she's been enjoying these Pony Pals. These are mine when I was 
growing up and I loved them and she's been loving them and they aren't super intimidating to her. They're pretty big, big words and not super big, but they're still a chapter book. So she doesn't feel like she's reading a baby book, but it does have some illustrations in there like that. And she can get through these pretty fast and it's good for her confidence. And yeah, it's not really hard words. It's pretty simple words that she can uh, easily identify. And so it's a whole series. I mean, we don't have all of them, but we have a lot of them. And so that is one thing she's reading. And one, her, I do a book club for our, uh, the girls. And, um, well, for me and two of her friends that who live down the road. And this book club from... We've, all, we've gotten off, off track with our months, but this past, this month's book club is The Evolution of Capernia Tate, and it's pretty thick, way too thick for me yet to read. Miet is still a struggling reader, so I was like, okay, well, I'll just read it out loud. And, yeah, the girls have not gotten into it. I personally love it, so I'm just reading the, I've got about halfway through reading it out loud, and... I'm just going to stop reading out loud. They're not really interested. Uh, it's very sciencey, which I thought Miet would like, but it's really hard to read out loud. I mean, a lot of these words, they're big words. They're big words. They're Latin words. It's very scientific. So for a struggling reader, this was not a good pick for her, but we tried. We read half of it. I'm going to finish up the rest by myself and just read it to myself. And she has never been like, oh, look, can you read this to me? So hopefully as she gets bigger, she'll read it. I'm still going to get the second one. And I think there are some other smaller ones that are based on her. So I'm going to pick those up because I like the series. And I like, I like the story. So our next uh, book club pick, we're having our book club next week. I'm going to take the girls camping just because it's summertime and I want to go camping. And the new um, book club for the next after this book club meeting is Tuesdays at the Castle. And so Mia is going to start reading that. It's pretty, I thought it was going to actually going to be thinner than this, but I think it should be fine. I have, I, we just got it in today. And so it's a little tough. It's a little tough, but hopefully she can read it herself. Or if not, I'll ask her if she wants me to read it. And maybe this will be a bedtime read as well. Maybe. And this is a series too. Tuesdays at the castle, Wednesdays at the tower, in the tower, Thursdays with the crowd, Fridays with the wizard, Saturdays at sea. So, it is a series. I like picking series because I like um, a story continuing on and for her, for any of the girls to be like, oh, I want to keep going with this. So, that is what uh, we're reading aloud and reading what Miette's reading. And now I'm going to do my read usually try to do a video of what I'm just reading because I read pretty darn fast. But this just, I read, there's just too many books I read in a month. I mean, I read about three, maybe four books a week. Two paperback books and two Kindle books at the same time, all together. So during the day, I have my two paperback books. It's one's a nonfiction, one's a non, one's a fiction, one's a nonfiction. And then at night, because my husband has to go to sleep early because he gets up in the middle of the night to go to work, I have my Kindle because he won't, I mean, I don't keep a light on or anything, and I like to read pretty darn late, and I, so I have my Kindle, and that, that's a fiction, and usually a non-fiction, even though I've been on a romance kick lately, so it's been a more literary fiction and a rom romance. So what I'm reading this week, not this month, because I've already read several books this month, is uh, The 13th Tale, and I've heard great things about this, so I'm reading it, and I'm liking it so far. It's pretty interesting. The, and then another my nonfiction pick for uh, my paperback is The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. I listen to her podcast, and so I really like her, so I can kind of, as I'm reading it, I'm reading it in her voice, which is funny, but because I listened to the podcast before I read a book, and I just picked this up at the bookstore, or um, use a bookstore. So I was happy about that. And then on Kindle, I'm reading, um, what am I reading? Finding Audrey, I think is what, by Sophia Kinsella. 
and then the I usually try to do a nonfiction, but um, this week I'm actually reading the romance. So it's like this London steampunk romance series, which is I just finished Kiss of Steel yesterday, and now I'm working on Heart of Iron, I think. So it's like this, this vampire, paranormal, steampunk, mechanical kind of <laughs> romance. So those are my little guilty pleasures. And yeah, any romance will do. I mean, I, I like historical, but I like historical novels at any time, especially if they're in London. I just, I love London and England and Scotland and the UK. So anything in there, historically, Victorian times, Regency times. So that's what I'm reading. What are you reading? Leave it in the comments below and tell me what you're reading. And I love getting book recommendations.